Today, we're diving into the basics of electrical circuits, focusing on Ohm's law, series, and parallel connections. Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across those two points and inversely proportional to the resistance. It is represented by the equation delta V equals IR, where delta V is the voltage, I is the current, and R is the resistance. In a series connection, circuit's elements are lined up one after the other, so there's only one path for current to flow. In a parallel connection, components are linked side by side, creating multiple paths for the current. A circuit is considered complete when it forms an unbroken loop, allowing electrons to flow from the voltage source through all the components and back to the source without interruption. When we arrange three bulbs with resistance of 10 ohms, 20 ohms, and 30 ohms in series, the bulb with the 30 ohms should shine the brightest because it has the highest resistance. The brightness of each light bulb is determined by the power it consumes, which is calculated with the power law formula P equals I delta V. The voltage across each component is directly proportional to its resistance, so the light bulb with the highest resistance will have the highest voltage drop across it, and it will dissipate more power. Upon testing, by closing the switch, this is confirmed. So we can see how in a series circuit, the three light bulbs share the same current, because the current has only one path to flow through. After modifying the circuit to a parallel configuration, the expectation is that the one with the least resistance will shine the brightest, since brightness depends on resistance and currents. If you have a lower resistance, you will have a higher current for the same voltage. When the switch is closed, this prediction is confirmed. So we can see how in a parallel circuit, the light bulbs share the same voltage because they are directly connected to the same two points of the power source. In conclusion, through these series and parallel circuits configurations, we've demonstrated how each light bulb in the simulations obeys Ohm's law. The voltage drop across each bulb can be calculated using the current and the respective resistances, which follows the delta V equals IR formula.